what up Z-Clan and everybody else, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 notification video. In this video we're going to take a look at the Atomic Shop, see what we got today. And uh, we're going to take a look at the daily challenges, see what we got to do in order to make some score. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, let's take a look at uh, the Atom Shop. So at the atomic shop, if we scroll all the way down, by the way, all of those sections are already reviewed. Uh, we will see the Halloween winding machine, the coffin one, to be precise. I wonder, why did they put on the patch notes coffin vending machine when it's Halloween paint? Anyway, but it does have a coffin looking good. Deadly sales. <laughs> so, uh, this is what we got today. I am not super hyped about, about this one. I'm really looking forward to see the winter one. Because if I remember, that one looks nice. And I think I'm going to grab that one. Uh, so, that's it for the Atomic Shop. And now let's navigate to the challenges. So, for the challenges, we need to buy an item or sell an item from another player. Claim a workshop, complete an event, gold star, complete a daily challenge, fi uh, five out of the daily challenges. Join a group with another player, kill a legendary enemy, level up, uh, nuclear winter lock a lock uh, pick a lock pick, and use photo mode while in the group. So essentially, they are all super easy to do. But let me kind of quickly walk you through on how to do these in case if you still need help. So first of all, let's do the photo mode while in the group. Luckily for us, we can still use the public team event, create whatever, then you navigate back to the photo mode, you take a picture, done. 250 score. As you can see, I don't have my thing popping, that's because I'm already rank 100. <laughs> so, uh, then, go back to the challenges. Buy an item or sell an item from another player. It's very easy. All you got to do is just go to another player vendor camp that has a vending machine in there and buy a bullet three times. So you just basically need to complete three transactions. One bullet, one bullet, one bullet. Done. You get your score. Claim a workshop. If you're new and you don't know what workshop is, look for these icons over here. So that's a workshop that you will need to kill off some uh, enemies and then capture it. You'll have a trigger happening and clear out the area from the enemies then uh, claim this workshop. So essentially if you're new you're going to pop out from Vault 76. You can go ahead and take George, uh, George Junkyard or uh, the Sunshine Meadows. I would recommend to do this one because it gives food as well. So you might be short on supply. So as soon as you capture it. Uh, basically uh, it will trigger so it will trigger the event by the way you can collab this with doing complete an event so basically once you've taken the uh, workshop you know, wait for three to five minutes the defending event will start so you'll need to kill X amount of waves of a specific enemy once you kill them off uh, you will have the event completed and that will trigger as well so you'll get that completed as well so just now it's talking about complete the event. Uh, Gold Star, do any five from all this list and it will trigger automatically. As you can see, I have one out of five. Uh, join the player in a group. As you can see, well, it didn't work for me. Uh, but if another player joins my group right now, that will get completed. Or if you're in a public uh, server, just open the... Uh, the public teams find a free spot join them and that will uh, complete the challenges for you I mean that for that challenge for you <clears throat> and essentially you'll get the score <laughs> it's not out of complete <laughs> that crazy stupid bug that apparently still happens to some people I did receive a confirmation yesterday that someone got that auto completion but that's the fix it please <laughs> Anyway, uh, then kill legendary enemy, that's pretty straightforward, but once again, if you're a lower level, then you will need to wait until an event pops over here, that's going to be uh, killing some uh, three, three, three one-star wolves, I forgot what's the name of it, but it spawns right in this section right here, it never changes the location, and you will be able to get, plus sometimes you can see other events such as uh, kill uh, in the mire or, you know, legendary stuff and get it done. 
Uh, what I would recommend if you'll see the Uranium Fever, definitely jump there even if you're level 1 because there's definitely going to be uh, higher level people over there too. Your job is to shoot at least the legendary enemy so when the other player kills it, it still uh, will uh, kind of calculate for you. So that's my recommendations for that one. And level up is straightforward, you just gotta level up and you're done. Nuclear Winter, I would highly recommend not playing Nuclear Winter for now because of all these things going on with the challenges. Because that's one of X amount of reasons why the auto completion happens. Uh, but in whatever case is Nuclear Winter, you gotta lock pick a lock and uh, I can't help you with that one. You just gotta find one. <laughs> a safe for, some, for example. But anyway. I hope this information helped you out and this is where I'm going to be calling at the end for this video. So if, you, if it helped you, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube and uh, nobody see them. So if you want to see those, uh, if you want your, p other people to reach your comments, respond to them, reply to them, uh, interact with them, uh, just feel free to leave your comments even if it's something negative, just don't swear her and everything will be fine. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So I'm from Ukraine. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to join our uh, active Discord channel? That's where we talk about Fallout 76 and other games because we play other games as well. Like today, I'm going to be playing Diablo 3 and streaming on Twitch. So you might want to join. All the links are down in the video description. Uh, join our Discord. Uh, I have a tutorial over there uh, that will help you out to get started. Basically, you need to apply for specific roles in order to see correct chance. Since uh, our Discord is 600 members plus, plus we play different games, there's a lot of chats, very easy to get lost. So I created a system in such a way that you have to interact with a specific role in order to get access to the chat. So for example, once you join, you click the Z sign that you accept the rules, you'll get access to the general chats, uh, then select the platform you play on, it will be easier to identify who's who and uh, to team up. And then, for example, if you're just playing 76, you click 76 and you'll have only 76 uh, chats available. Uh, if you want, if you're playing Warzone, for example, then you can click Warzone. You'll have Warzone chats available. If you stop playing Warzone, unclick, done. The chats are lost, and you're still, uh, you still have access to everything that you need. So, Z Klein and everybody else, once again, thank you for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys like it. At, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future. We'll